Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear future leaders from all around the country, our great country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, welcome to your English class. Also, I would like to welcome Mr. Fawaz Al Aqil, he's going to be our sign language interpreter. And now, I think we're so ready to start our new lesson. It's first intermediate grade, first semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson of today is going to be Unit 5, Grammar. This is my name, Ms. Khuroud Saud. As always, it's a pleasure to be your teacher. Let's start with our online classroom rules. Find a quiet study area and be ready. Make sure you have everything around, your book, pen, pencil, and maybe someone to talk to. Number two, avoid distractions like TV, food, and other online resources. Number three, keep strong and positive. Are you ready? Let's start. So in our previous lesson, we were introduced to vocabulary of family members such as son, daughter, grandfather, grandmother, grandson, and etc. And I ask you to do fun activity, creating your own family tree. I hope you find this fun and share it with your family members. Number two, we identify family members and describe families. Okay. Let's start our new lesson, Unit 5, Families, Families, pages 42, 43. Our lesson of today is going to be grammar, lesson objectives. Learners will be introduced to verb have, affirmative and negative form, also questions and short answers. Quantity expressions like any, a lot of, lots of. Possessives like S. Question words like how many or who. Let's start. Verb have. Do you have your book? Do you have your book? What does that mean? Do you have it now at this moment? Probably your teacher will be asking you this question, right? Let's look at affirmative form of the verb. Usually with subject pronouns such as I and you, we have the verb have. I have and you have. I have a sister, you have a sister. And with he and she, we have the verb has. He has a sister or she has a sister. With we and you and they for plural, we have the verb have. We have a sister. You have a sister and they have a sister. If I want to make the negative form of the verb have, what should I do? Have a look. I don't have a sister. You don't have a sister. Don't comes with I and you for singular. And you sometimes works for plural. He and she comes with doesn't in order to make have negative. He doesn't have a sister. She doesn't have a sister. With we and you and they, we use don't have a sister. For your information, don't is the abbreviation for the full form of the verb do plus not. And doesn't is the abbreviation form and the short form of does plus not. How about if we want to create a question using the verb have? Usually, we start with do or does. Do you have a sister? So I start with do followed by the subject pronoun, then the verb have, and the thing I'm asking about. Is, is this a yes-no question? 
Yes, it is. And usually the answer is not the verb that we, the question that we use to ask with verb be is or are. Are you a student? Yes, I am. If I start with the verb do or does, the answer will be completely different. I'll show you. You will start with the answer yes, I, yes, I have or yes, I do. Okay? Yes, I do or yes, he or she does. So let's look back at do right here. Do you or do we for plural or do they have a sister? Does for singular. Does he, does she have a sister? And the answer would be yes or no question. Sorry, yes or no answer. Let's look at the sh short answers right here. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Or, yes, she does. Yes, she, yes, he does. Or, yes, she does. And for a negative short answer, you will start with no, followed by the subject pronoun. I or we, they comes with don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. Let's look at the quantity expressions any, a lot of, or lots of. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I'm not sure if you have brothers or sisters, so I'm asking you, do you have any brothers or sisters? And sisters, sorry. The answer would be, let's say, no, I don't have any brothers and sisters. What do you notice here in the answer? I started with the negative, no, I don't, right here, I don't have any brothers and sisters. Usually in English, we avoid double negatives. Look right here, English speakers say, I don't have any brothers, not I don't have no brothers. Did you notice that? That's totally wrong. This error is called a double negative. Let's see the next question. Do you have any cousins? Yes, I have a lot of or lots of cousins. What does that mean? It's probably more than one. Okay. Let's look at the possessives. The thing that you own or is related to you. Michael has a sister. He has a sister. If I want to talk or tell that this the sister is Michael's sister, that's Michael's sister. Look here, usually I add to the subject the possessive adjective followed by S and then the family member which is sister. My cousins have a cat. That is my cousin's cat. What do you notice here? It's a plural, so usually when I have a plural noun, I add the apostrophe after the noun. My cousin's cat. So the cat belongs to whom? To my cousins. Okay, how was that? Let's repeat that one more time. Michael has a sister. If I want to say this in another way, that's Michael's sister. That's Michael's sister. And the S right here called the possessive S. My cousins have a cat. My cousins is a plural noun. And if I want to add the, the possessive S, what should I do? That's my 
cousins, cat, as you can see, I add the apostrophe right after the S. Let's go to question words, how many or who? How many books do you have? Can you count them? How many? One, two, three, four. Good job. Who are you in the family? Are you the cousin? Are you an aunt? Are you an uncle? How many cousins do you have? How many? Ask about the number. And cousins here is plural. Sorry for that. How many cousins do you have? Okay, you can count and write your answer down. I have a lot of cousins. A lot of. Maybe five, maybe ten. Who are these children? Who are they? I'm asking about who? The children. Who are these children? They are my cousins. Letter A, complete the sentences with possessives, endings, and S or S for plural. Use the underlined words. Brian has, Brian, sorry, Brian has a sister. She is Brian's sister. So Brian, probably a boy. He has a sister. She's his sister. She is Brian's sister. And because Brian is a singular, I added the apostrophe right here, followed by the S. Number one, my brother has a cat. My brother has a cat. So the cat belongs to whom? To my brother. That's my brother's cat. Good job. And brother is only one. It's a singular, so I add the apostrophe right here followed by S. The girls have a brother. It's a plural noun right here. Have a brother. The brother is, belongs to the girls. That's the girl's brother. And do you notice something here? The plural noun, we already have the S. So in order to avoid double S, we write only one S followed by the apostrophe. Complete the sentences with possessive endings. Let's go to number three. Mrs. Smith, I can tell from the title, is she a lady or a, a, a gentleman? Mrs., probably I'm talking about a married lady. Mrs. Smith has a daughter. The daughter belongs to whom? To Mrs. Smith. That is Plank Baby. Take a moment and try to do it your own. Mrs. Smith has a daughter. That is Mrs. Smith is, Smith is baby. And because Mrs. Smith is only one, a singular noun, so I added the apostrophe followed by the S. Number four, my grandfather has a sister. The sister belongs to whom? To the grandfather, she is my plank sister. Take a moment and try to do it your own. My grandfather has a sister. She is my grandfather's sister. Okay. And grandfather is a singular noun. Number five, the boys, and look, we already have. The plural noun right here, the boys have an uncle. The uncle belongs to whom? To the boys. That is the plank uncle. Take a moment and try to do it your own. Okay, my thinkers. The boys have an uncle. That is the boy's uncle. And notice here we have a plural 
noun in order to avoid double S, we use only one S followed by the apostrophe. Okay? How was that? So far so good? Okay. Let's go to letter B, ask questions for exercise A. Does Brian have a sister? Yes, he does. The question start with the verb does. And the answer would be yes or no. Yes, he does. Notice here. He stands for Brian, followed by does. Brian has a sister. How to tell that in a different way? She is Brian's sister. I use the possessive S right here. Let's go to the next part, letter C. Ask your classmates about their families. Write their names. Find someone who, this is a nice game, you can do it with your classmates. If you're doing this away, you can always text them, okay? Or maybe ask your parents. This would be a fun activity to do it with a partner. Find someone who has only one brother. Write his name here or his name right here. Number two, has two brothers. Find someone who has two brothers. Number three, Find someone who is an only child. Number four, find someone who comes from a big family. Look right here, number one, do you have any brothers? You can ask these questions. In another way, do you have any brothers? Or you can ask, how many brothers do you have? Are you an only child? For number three right here. Are you an only child? Do you come from a big family? So this is a nice way when you are meeting someone for the first time and you want to have um, a chat with them, you can talk and ask those questions. Remember, in the first unit, we learned how to use greetings and how to say welcome, good morning, good evening, based on the time of the day, and how to introduce ourselves, introduce others. This is a nice way to start any conversation with new friends or maybe classmates. Let's go to a letter D. Complete the conversation. Use do, don't have or has. It is a conversation between Maha and Fatima. Fatima said, do you plank any brothers and sisters? So what do you think the verb missing right here? Do you? Good job. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Fatima answered, no, I don't. I add the verb and then followed by the negative. I come from a small family. That's why she answered no. I am an only child. How about you? Remember this question? It's a nice way to ask the same question back. How about you? Maha, Maha said, I come from a big family. I plank two brothers and three sisters. Two brothers and three sisters. I'm talking about plural here. So the verb would be, good job. I have two brothers and three sisters. My father plank three sisters and my mother plank three brothers and a sister. Take a moment. You can do this your own. Okay, good job. My father has three sisters. 
I use the verb has here because I'm talking about singular noun. My father, only one. Three sisters and my mother has three brothers and a sister. Fatima said or asked, Plank, you have many cousins. What's the question word? Good job. Do you have many cousins? Maha answered, oh yeah, lots or lots of. Okay. So let's do now a role play, the conversation and exercise D with the partner. It's a good idea to read uh, the conversation with the partner always. And you can fill the plank using your own memory. You can act your Maha or Fatima, or you can change the name of your boys, okay? Let's go to your workbook, letter D. Complete the sentences you use have, has, don't have, or doesn't have. Use the information on page 42. Look at this example right here. Khalid has two sisters. Khalid has two sisters. Number one, Omar and Madiha space three children. I'm talking about plural. More than one, have three children. Good job. Number two, Khalid, Plank, any brothers? What do you think? Don't or doesn't? Which one is correct? Good job doesn't have always does come with singular Khalid is he doesn't have any brothers number three Noura Plank one sister good job Noura has one sister Noura is she is Noura so Noura has one sister number four Ali and Hanan, three children. More than one? Don't have three children. Go to your workbook, page 108, sorry. Letter E, write the possessive. The son of Ali is Ali's son. The aunt of Sahar is Sahar's aunt. The father of the children, good job. The children's father, the mother of the girls, plural noun right here. The girl's mother, good job. The bags of the aunts, the aunt's bags. Answer the questions, use any, a lot of, or lots of. Do you have any cousins? No, I don't have any cousins. Look at the first example. We will do number one together. Your father has seven brothers. Do you have any uncles? Yes, I have a lot of or lots of uncles. Your homework will be number two, three, and four plus letter G. So in our today's lesson, we learned verb have in affirmative and negative form, how to write questions and short with their short answers. We learned also quantity expressions su such as any, a lot of, lots of, and the possessive s with question words, how many, and who remember you have number two, three, and four plus letter G as your homework. I hope you learned something. Until I see you next class, take good care and bye-bye for now.